Welcome back, Limbus Company, Daily Mirror Dungeon. Uh, I don't really have any particular plans for this run. I think I'm just gonna run whatever and see how it goes, right? I don't know, I was trying to think of something and nothing really came to mind, right? Let's see how it goes. Oh yeah, starting with Nebulizer, Ornamental Horseshoe. I don't even think I have any poison units. I just figured, you know, might as well, right? It's, it's, I mean, it's, it's something. Which is more than you can say about, well, some things, yeah? Uh, sure, we'll do, we'll do that. That'll work. Should be solid, right? And here we go. All right. Let us see. What's the plan here? Okay. Interesting floor one. Uh, what do we do with this? Okay. Cool. Oh, Eagle Gift. The remote. That's a pretty good one. Being able to use it will help out a little bit. Although we kind of need to get a little bit of a... We kind of need to get a little bit of charge, I think. That's good. We need something else for charge, though, right? That'll work. Okay, now I think we can actually get decent use of the Eagle Gift, right? Yeah. Should work. Hmm. Being a little strange. Oh, here we go. Just taking a second to load. My connection is not great right now, so it's being a little laggy with some of the loading stuff, right? It happens. Just gotta kill these enemies, and it, it, sh it should be fairly easy, right? Shouldn't be anything too big to worry about, I don't think. And there we go. Onwards we go. Oh! Looks like there's a little bit of a Pecatula over there. That's fine. I can't I can't take that node, that's fine. Where'd it go? Pecatula over here, can I see it? Here we go. Yeah, there it is. Uh see, what do you see? Feed it six okay, so we need to get six eggs to get our prize. Gotta find eggs to feed this abnormality to pass the abdo check. Okay. Um, let's see, there's one. Is that a light? Will this work? What does that do? I've got no idea. That's fine, we'll figure it out in time. Can't go down the slide, that's fine. Project Project Moon, right? Is there one behind the tree, potentially? No, no luck. No to dice, as they say. Oh, there's something on this table, though. Bring a friend day sticker, it's caution, heal slowly. Alright. Don't know what that means. Not a new gift I'm too familiar with. Another egg. That's nice. I've already forgotten how many you need to collect, but it'll probably say when I get enough, right? I think that'll check out. Hmm. Oh, there's one over here. Okay. A little bit of blind of me to miss that one, I feel like. Let's see. Are they all going to be in this room? Or will some of them be next door? There might be some next door, too, in this node. Can I be directed to come in to break all the materials such as yellow glass? Okay, interesting. Yellow glass. Uh, I've got no clue what that means. I guess it means I needed the yellow key card you get to progress for that. Well, let's see. Is there any other random switches in here? Hmm. Doesn't seem like it. I guess I just gotta keep on searching for eggs. They really shouldn't be that hidden. They're fairly... Oh yeah, there we go. There's one. Someone in this boat, potentially? Oh, yes, there is. I checked onto the boat, but yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Was there any of them on the swing set? I don't think there was, but it feels like the optimal place for one of these Zeo gifts to go, right? Let's see, how many... One... Two... Three... Four... Five... So, are we missing one, or...? Okay, we still need to find one more egg. Where's a place that feels fitting for an egg to be. It seems like none of them are going into the other room. Is there another one in this, per chance? I think it could be a good place. We've, seen, we've got one in the playground thing. But I think it would make sense if there's another eagle gift in here somewhere. Right? That's being weird. 
Don't know what I'm supposed to do about that still. Hmm. Oh, there's a switch over here. I didn't even notice this one. But I said I could right-click the you gift to call it something. There we go. Alright, let's do what this does. Use the remote to trigger the switch. See what that does for us. Oh, and there we go. Simple enough. I guess I gotta keep eyes open for switches a little bit more often. That'll probably help out a bit. So that was six eggs, right? Claim reward of the mouth. Oh, there we go. Oh, the yellow pass. Okay. That's good. So we can open up this door. She'll be able to get to this, the boss of this floor, I think, for this. I do believe. Yeah, what did that do? Yeah. Are you going to go straight? No, it's, okay, it's smart enough, I think, to go around. No, it's going to go to trade room slate. Oh! I thought it said it couldn't break the glass. I guess I misinterpreted that, maybe? I don't know. Oh, and open up this. Ooh, and I get the hammer. That's nice. They're good. Distraction at one. All right, good to know. We should have enough of you guys now. I think we should be able to progress to the boss now. Ooga booga booga ooga. And it's pretty sprinkled everywhere. Good advice. That's actually some pretty good advice. Honestly, if you guys are having trouble in your own runs, that's probably good advice to follow. Take down the boards, and we should be able to progress. All right. First floor boss. Laughter is the best medicine to make sure it's mad. That's another decently smart one. Right. So what's the plan here? Ooh. There's this over here. What does that do for me? Okay. A chair. Simple enough. I guess not a chair, more so a thing, bench thing. And there we go. Seems like it'll take a second, but that's fine. I can. I think I can live with that. I think I'm fine if it takes a little bit, right? Ooh, scary noises. But it looks like there's a new gift on the floor over here. Oh, I jump off fast. I alone. I wanted to play with the whole bird, but everyone left me. Everyone have party without me. Miss Mason, some but go. I'm scared because holes loud, my friends scream in it, but Bird is funny. Bird is funny. I think if any, if Project Moon Games tell you anything. What was my color? What? Was I supposed to be paying attention there? What's my color? Hmm. I gotta choose an option. We got an Abno event here. I don't know which option I need to choose to get the EU gift, but it's probably kind of important to get the right one. Oh, I see. Got to match the colors up. That's simple enough. Let's see. Jumbo Joss, Abnormality. I know that one's green. These two I am not familiar with at all, unfortunately. I assume one of them's yellow if I'm given the yellow option. What are the options? Orange. Hmm. Is there anything beyond orange, or does it loop around? Oh, white. Are any of these white? I don't think so. And then it loops back around. Okay. So we gotta figure this out. What is your color? You feel very orange to me, and you feel green. Not gonna lie. And if not, then maybe I'll try vice versa. I don't think any of them are white. Right? Hmm. I'm messing something up, I suppose. I could go back and check, but, uh... i really like to get this Abno event done sooner rather than later. Uh, and there's an easy way to do that. Let me check the answer. Real quick. Just, you know, look it up, uh, in a brief way. By looking up the character list. And so I can see... Okay, that one's orange. This one is...
Hmm? Little bit here. I didn't even know you. Oh wait, you're white. Apparently. That's what I'm missing. Is that right? This guy's purple? Hmm? Maybe? Or is he blue, I guess? Oh. I don't know what I did right there, but uh, that works. Okay. I can live with that, I think. Need to look up the answers for that. I have to check a little bit, but that's fine. Oh. Hey, buddy. What are you up to? That's the uh, Opiel Bird Abnormal. It's one of the ones they added with the recent Mirror Dungeon. Oh. Alright. That was an insta kill, it seems. Okay. Luckily, you know, thanks to Dante's, you know, time power things, it's pretty easy. Do I just gotta... Oh wait, there's a button there. Does that button do something for me? Is that what I need to hit? Eventually. Oh yeah, there we go. Simple enough. We'll shift to sprint. Yeah, normal stuff. I'm not that shocked. What? Okay, there's an invisible wall there. That's 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 actually fairly rude. Because you can't tell, that's what's been going on a lot of these times. T. I. T. Penny sound. That's, I guess that's commemorative coin meat song. Or sound effect. Makes enough sense. Well, we'll be ready this time to actually figure out what's going on. And hopefully I won't mess up horribly. Hm. I'm sure it's, it's probably something fairly obvious. This Opila Bird abnormality. Can't say I like it too much. It's a little... It's a little strange. I don't know. The design feels off to me. It doesn't really remind me a lot of other abnormality design-wise. It feels like there's something missing. Luckily, it's polite, at least. That's nice. Not all the abnormalities these days are polite. Oh, it's nice to get a polite abnormality every once in a while. Okay, that might have been what I need to do. I can't tell for sure, though. Maybe I just need to go faster. Another T. This one time it's yellow, though. Interesting. I'm pressing E to, you know, have Dante do, you know, the revival thing sooner rather than later, right? You know how it goes. Sooner, uh, the better. The waiting is a little bit annoying, but sometimes it's like that, right? You just kind of got to watch the animation go out fully. It would be kind of be rude to skip the animation, right? I think that's, like, true enough. Hello. Very odd. It's like a... It's like a... At least it's kind. Oh! Down it goes. That easy. I guess it is one of those it's a little hard to deal with, but if you pass the check properly, you do just get an insta-win. So it's really not that bad, right? Maybe I'm just bad. Did I get another key card, was it? I, I got orange, I see. Anyone over there? Any new abnos to see? Doesn't seem like it. Boarding pass. Montreal to Madrid. I think in Canada, that's scary. Why does this button not do anything? This is like a deactivated button, right? Got to do something to activate it, I presume? I don't know what that boarding pass would do for me, though, right? Hard to imagine that it actually, like, would help me. 
But yeah, it's, got, it's, it's just one that isn't lit up, it seems. Interesting. Is there something else I need to find in here, then? Oh, there is. Oh, I'm a, I'm a god gamer, I think. Oh, now it's lit up, I think. So now can I hit it? And now I can hit this, too. Oh! Hidden floors. Okay, I think that's on to floor two now. Very long floor one, it's like that sometimes. Oh, is it? Is it a fake out, for chance? There's something I'm supposed to be doing in this circumstances. I'm waiting. Okay, yeah, there we go. There's the elevator. Okay. On to floor two we go. Simple enough. We dealt with the appeal of bird boss. Uh, got some got some DDU gifts. This remote especially seems super good. The charge requirement's a little bit rough, but... I think with a team like this, we should be able to get around it fairly easily, right? I think so. Off we go. Ooh. Here we are, floor two. Interesting. Some strange noises afoot. Error. Cool. Ooh, I know this abnormal. They show this abnormal on the teasers. Yeah, this is this is Jumbo Josh. Yeah. This is a cool one. I really like this guy. I hope we get some egos for it. Oh, it's messed us up. Okay, cool. What next? A little bit of a forced loss there at the beginning of the second floor. That's a little. That's that's a little kind of lame. Like, I guess that means, like, Jumbo Josh is probably an Aleph, right? Yeah, that's it for floor one, I guess. Interesting. If I'm being completely honest, I thought it would be longer than that. Um, huh. That's it? Okay, funny joke and all, I'm not spending $5 on the second one. You cannot make me. Uh, we've completed, we've basically completed the... A bit. Uh, I've, I've, I've got an idea. Alright, here we go. Time for a little bit of, time for a little bit of Minesweeper. I'm turning this sound off, though, because that is rough. Um, maybe I should play some, some other sound in the meantime. Perfect. There we go. That works. Okay, now now back to our Minesweeper. This is this is now this is riveting stuff. I don't know how much you guys, you know, watching this know about Minesweeper, but it's honestly one of my favorites. And it's the kind of thing where like if you're not super into it, I definitely understand uh not being it's a very simple game, but there's a lot of like strategy to it, right? A lot of it's pattern recognition when it really comes down to it, which I personally find like a lot of fun. Although, of course, it's the kind of thing where, you know, it, it is not everyone's cup of tea, and that makes perfect sense. It's gonna seem like I'm, I'm just kind of, like, going, like, kind of insane here, and that's because I'm just decently fast. I'm also very, like, commonly one to make major errors, uh, so they don't mess up that. I try and just go too fast sometimes, right? Curse of being just too good at Minesweeper. Truly is, you know, a, a burden I must bear. But yeah, so, um, I guess I could, like, I could go through my thought process for some of these. Let's find a good place. Okay, so here, this one. So basically, if you don't know Minesweeper, this number means how many mines are in the eight adjacent slash diagonal cells to it. So this one means there's one mine in these cells, and we know it has to be here, right? So we can do something similar, but these ones next to each other, we know there's a one, there's a mine in one of these cells, which means we open this one, we know there's one in this one, so this one can never be a mine, right? And similar thing here, we know there's two in this area, which means that there's going to be two in this area, which means there can't be any right here, right? That's like the basic gist of what I'm doing here, and I'm just kind of doing it fast, because I've done a lot of Minesweeper in the past. So it just kind of, it's second nature, just kind of go a little fast for me. 
even if it means that some people just even if some people who aren't too familiar with Minesweeper aren't always aware that's basically just kind of like the thought process going on basically on loop the entire time right just like okay this works this works this works that loop right I did okay that is a very unfortunate loop on the music Yeah, I've got I've got to extend like the, the video the, the length of this uh a little bit right so that if someone's seeing this is can't immediately tell something is wrong I mean the thumbnail itself I've already made the thumbnail I made the thumbnail before I even started recording this right I knew uh, the plan's been ready for months I might have made a joke about this at one point because like I think part of the stream was someone probably Melon asked me to play Garden of Ban Ban on stream so I did for the bit um. You know, because, I mean, it's it's a funny joke. No one likes this game. It is bad. Or Garden of Banban. I mean, everyone loves Minesweeper. It's goaded. But, like... And so I just kind of decided to myself, at least, I'm going to do this for... Oh, I meant to right-click there. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Well, it's time to start from the beginning, then. Kind of what happens if I try multitasking with Minesweeper. I'm not used to... I don't really... That was the wrong thing to press. I mixed up my symbols. My signals, I guess I should say. I don't usually talk while playing Minesweeper, so it's going to throw me off a little bit from now and then. Especially since I'm talking about unrelated things, that's definitely going to throw me off. I meant to right-click. God, yeah. You can see it there. But yeah, so I figured, you know, for the past few months, my plan was when April Fool's comes around, I was going to do Garden of Ban Ban. I played, I think, like, the first minute. You might have noticed I went a little faster at the start. I think I tested it out. I played, like, the first minute. I got the drone. I pressed the button. That's as far as I got. I thought the game would be at least a little longer. They're, I mean, they're very much cash-grabby type games, so I'm not really that shocked uh, it was that short, but, like, they caught me off guard. Because the thing is, the first part is free. I didn't spend any money on that. I need that, that to be made very clear, because I'm not buying Garden of Ban Ban. I don't know. If this video reaches three likes, I'll uh, buy the second one next April Fools. If I'm even like, if I even remember, <laughs> you gotta, you, you gotta, you gotta hold me to that, right? I think so. I think that would be well. Who knows, maybe I'll just buy the part anyways and I'll record it right now and I'll just set it. I'll just schedule it on YouTube to post in like, you know, when the time comes. So that, you know, whether or not I'm actually going to commit to the bit, it's already ready and done. So it'll just have been waiting a year in advance. Which is also a very funny idea. Because who knows what's happened by that point. My channel could be long dead for all I know. Um, but you know, random Garden of Ban Ban video one day. Would be raw, that's for sure. Also, because of how I do my videos, it is technically not April Fool's yet when this is going up, but it basically is. They effectively have my videos set for like the day after, that sort of thing, right? It happens. It's still weird we've done this. Actually, today, I think tomorrow will be the one-year anniversary of the first Daily Mirror Dungeon, but it won't be the 365th Mirror Dungeon, right? Because uh, I messed up. Because I, I missed, like, a week in the middle of summer because I was gone. I mean, I was gone for, like, ten days, and I could only pre-record so much, right? That was before I, my channel, actually, I feel like, kind of took off. I say took off, it's not, like, super popular, but, like, it, it got decently popular with Mirror Dungeon 2, fittingly enough. That's a turning point. That's also when I started, like, streaming. You know, there weren't too many people that for the first stream, but then, you know, people started to blow, and they started to grow to be, like, some regulars, right? Which is super cool. It's fun. I'm actually recording this just after, uh, finishing the stream I did recently. That being the Lob Corp stream from Saturday. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm basically recording this the night before it's being posted. But this has been planned. This idea has been planned for a long time in advance, right? Because it is funny. And like a kind of like sadistic sort of way. Like I'm, I played Garden of Ban Ban. And like, was it good? No. Was it 
that i mean it was a very nothing game it feels like the kind of thing you'd see like on roblox with like 80 players right Ooh, misinterpreted that horribly that's unfortunate but you can keep on going right like let's see let me check obs we're currently only like 26 minutes in i should try and get it to like at least the 40 minute mark right so i might just keep on rambling and playing minesweeper for a while i could launch limbus too if i wanted to be like lame and actually do a mirror dungeon but, like, you know, for the bit, right? This was my daily mirror dungeon, you know? There's actually, like, there's a rogue, like, Minesweeper game. I've actually played it a fair bit. It's actually what got me into Minecraft, or Minesweeper. Did I say Minecraft before? I might have. My brain is fried. It is currently midnight for me. There's no way I could play Garden of Ban Ban, like, any time I was actually, like, awake, right? I was mentally, like, there because i don't i just do not think i could you know get convinced myself to oh that is a seven i don't think i've ever seen a seven in google minesweeper that means like almost everything adjacent is a mine except for one an eight would be even more insane but it's also even less likely so hmm. i need to i need to lock in that's the thing I'd really like to win at least one of these, and doing it while talking is really hard. As someone who's- I don't think I've ever actually, like, talked while playing Minesweeper before. I just usually- I usually just lock in anyways. Really, Minesweeper's not really the kind of game you play when you're talking to other people, I think. It's kind of the game you play when you're, like, bored in a computer lab or something, right? Finished your classwork in, like, high school, and you're like, yeah, time to hop on Minesweeper. That's how it always was for me. It was either this, I'd sometimes hop on, like, Pycross, I'd sometimes hop on, like, Sudoku, stuff like that. That's the type of games that I've always, like, I've just enjoyed a lot. They're kind of brain-off-y, but in, like, a very brain-on kind of way, I guess. If that makes sense, it might. I never really know if it makes sense, especially this late at night. But that's That's part of the fun, right? I'd say so. Yeah. Okay, nice. Looking solid still. Haven't made any mistakes yet. I mean, obviously enough. If I made a mistake, it would have been over. Scary. Scary stuff, Minesweeper is. Quite the quite the fright, isn't it? Yeah, I mentioned this, uh, I guess I should mention this here, but, uh, I am gonna be streaming again tomorrow. From now on, streams are gonna be twice a week, usually. They're gonna be Saturdays and Mondays, both at 7pm, so it'll standard time. I think it'll be nice. It'll make up for the fact that I miss a lot of Saturdays, I feel like, by just having another day where I'm a little more consistent. I'd like to go for Saturdays, though, just simply because it's a day where, like, people are free, right? I'd never want to stream on, like, a day where, like, people have other stuff to do, right? Also, I did mention this on stream a little bit, but, uh, I do plan on actually making Discord server soon. The reason why I haven't done it yet is I'm gonna wait until, uh... I'm gonna wait until Canto 6 is over, right? Probably like a week after that or something, I'll make it. Mainly because, uh, I know there's still leaks and stuff. Oh, there we go. I don't want to risk encountering some of those. Okay, we'll stop the music there. That was good, that was good. That was solid. Um, I might just edit in like a solid 10, 15 minutes of like black screen at this point to continue like the illusion that this goes on for longer. Because I think that would be really funny. Yeah, it would be. I think, I think, I think I'll do that. I think I'll commit to that bit. But yeah, that was good. I hope you guys enjoyed my April Fool's special. 
I was hoping it'd be better. I honestly think I overestimated Garten of Ban Ban as a game, unfortunately. Right? I was expecting it to be uh, more of an actual game than a... What even happened there? Like, that's a good question. Nothing happened. Maybe there were some secrets, some Easter eggs I missed. I could have gone back, replayed it, something like that. I don't think I've got the heart to do that. Anyways, uh, Black Silence. Oh, like, roll in for, like, the next ten minutes or so. That'll be all for this time. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.